News 6 Space reporter James Sparvero at the Kennedy Space Center. James, take us through this final countdown. Hey, Eric. Well, it's been mostly a smooth final countdown. No major issues all night here at NASA's Kennedy Space Center from SpaceX and NASA, the six full length duration mission to the International Space Station under the Commercial Crew Program. For three years now, it's been seven commercial crew missions overall. We've been watching Falcon 9 rockets and Crew Dragon capsules flawlessly take off from launch pad 39A and take crews, first the crew of two with Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley, and now since then six crews of four to the International Space Station. But we might have some breaking news here, Eric. The countdown has stopped as I look back at the clock at T minus two minutes and 17 seconds. We might be in a two minute hold here. Let's just um, listen in. Let's send it back to you, Eric. We should listen into the NASA feed right now and get the latest. Fluid uh, that actually uh, sparks with the oxidizer and allows the engines to uh, fire. The teams were tracking this issue, and so we're in a nominal scrub configuration. We'll start to see sort of the, a sequence of uh, reversing some of the milestones we've been tracking as part of this countdown. Okay, until so the uh, crew axis arm swings back to the side hatch and so the hatch will, the crew can egress the vehicle as part of a nominal launch scrub okay so you just heard those words there nominal launch scrub it's funny because nominal of course means more or less normal or as it's supposed to happen yet a scrub is not supposed to happen what we're trying to figure out is exactly what the issue is something uh, about a sparking um uh, typically what they do is they burn off uh, that that venting um, uh, liquid oxygen and liquid kerosene that you see. So that's that's the cloud. That's the vent cloud outside. Don't know if it has anything to do with that, because like you, we just heard what mission control was saying kind of in the middle of the sentence there. But what we do know is this mission has now been scrubbed because of some sort of issue that popped up really I mean, in the last minute or two, because we had been looking good all night. We looked good during fueling. We looked good uh, right before that as astronauts uh, uh, were being put on board to this rocket. Um, they test fired this rocket uh, several days ago, all nine Merlin engines, and there have been no problems. And as James was saying, really, the countdowns up through and into launch of all of the previous SpaceX missions with astronauts on board has gone smoothly. In fact, James Parvero continues to be live at the Space Center. James, I cannot remember a scrub of astronauts on board at least at the last several times, right? Maybe going all the way back to Demo 2, Eric, we mm -hmm. did have a scrub the day before the astronauts ultimately lifted off three years ago. Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley, that was May 30th, 2020. We were there a day or two before when they scrubbed, but I don't think it was this close in the terminal count, just T minus two minutes and 18 seconds as I glance back at the clock where they have us in the hold now. In abort right now, if you're just joining us overnight, maybe you watched our evening newscast, maybe you followed our live stream overnight. It was a very smooth countdown up until this point. NASA and SpaceX reported no major issues leading up to the sixth full length mission to the International Space Station under SpaceX's partnership with NASA under the commercial crew program. But then just like that, suddenly we have an abort. It's reported to be an issue with the Falcon 9's engine ignition system. It looks like the vehicle is safe. It looks like the crew is safe. So it just looks now, looks like now, Eric, SpaceX and NASA will have to confirm what's likely a 24 hour turnaround, maybe. Then again, they're gonna have to take a closer look at the issue at hand. So maybe it's too early to say 20, just 24 hours. But we knew if they were to take off tonight, it would just take about 24, 25 hours to get to the space station. But clearly, the astronauts will not get to the space station as soon as Tuesday morning, Eric.
Right, James. Yeah, like you said, we have about uh, a second launch window, 24 hours-ish from now. Typically, it's a few minutes difference. But yeah, this would have been Tuesday morning. But we have so little information at this point as to exactly why this scrub happened. As James was saying, that some sort of issue, it sounds like, with the engines, uh, something on the uh, Falcon 9 and those nine Merlin engines. What happens now is the astronauts, well, first the fuel has to be drained. And then, as you saw, that uh, arm that swings out is now back in place. So the astronauts, of course, can walk back across that arm and down the ele elevators, take those Teslas back, and they're going to wait at least for another day, and so will we. Of course, we're going to be here all night long. Our morning crew takes over in the next few hours, and the morning's news starts at 4.30, and by then we should know more as to exactly what caused this scrub of the Crew-6 mission with these four astronauts on board, and we should be able to find out by then whether or not they're going to try again in about 24 hours. So tune in around 4.30, and of course, overnight, as we get updates, we'll post them for you on ClickOrlando.com.